arrested in Jack the Ripper. They were met with the most horrific sight. After a bad dreams about Warsaw. The bathtub in Captain Smith's life. Starts Monday at 9 on CI, also in HD. In 1986, who is the black girl? The Dallas journalist Glenna Whitley has written about Sandra's possible connection to the death of her third husband, Alan Mary. Whitley picked up the widow's trail in California. I will go get documents that were proving what was going on in California, that she was um, taking money from men under fraudulent circumstances. I would call people in California and interview them, trying to keep up with where she was going. The long Bridewell, more than $100,000, checks and wire transfers to prove it. A Santa Rosa attorney once dated Bridewell and is also suing her for unpaid loans. It seemed that Sandra had found a new hunting ground where she set her sights on rich men and somehow convinced them to lend her money. Lots of it. The problem was, she never paid them back. And these are lawsuits by people that claims she ripped them off for money. So I've just been following this paper trail. <laughs> there were several lawsuits pending against her, but she managed to creep away on stage. It's already stuck on the path. Oh, is it? Yeah. Her story continued to fascinate the media and the public. <laughs> <laughs> the became the biggest story of the I just began being a repository of and getting fascinated with her jaunts around the country. For years, Whitley had been trying to pin Sandra down to work out who she was and to find her too. Um, a lot of work, a lot of, most of what I've found over the years or have covered her is under my table here. Sandra, who was now 63, had turned to take care of her. She would write on the ground, and she would still slightly alive. What she wanted, and where she, how she was going to get it. <laughs> Sandra had fallen a long way from her days oh. as a Highland Park socialite. Perhaps no longer able to support herself by suggesting <laughs> she shifted her values to the church. This time in the coastal village of Southport, North Carolina, where she resurfaced with a new name, Camille Bowers, devout Christian missionary. She knew how to present herself. Very friendly, 